Kirby, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a dupe and it is a foundation primer dupe. Is Monistat Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel an exact dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer? We shall see in the video coming up. If you are interested, please keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so we are going to be experimenting today with the Monistat Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel as a primer. All over Pinterest, all over the blogs, all over the internet is that it is an exact dupe for Smashbox's Photo Finish Face Primer, Foundation Primer. Like, exact dupe down to the ingredients are the exact same. I'm not sure about that because this is just a little baby sample. It's what I have right now on me. I have used, again, full size photo finish as well as they have a whole bunch of different kinds as well. I had like a pinky peachy one that I used to use. But anyways, this is the one that I'm going to be trying it against because, again, Pinterest and the internet says that this is the exact or this Monistat gel is the exact dupe for this uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. So we are going to do half and half. I got my Monistat Gel at Meyer. It was like $6.15. I will put the exact price somewhere up. I will also put where you can get Monistat Gel or a link where you can get Monistat Gel in the description box. But you should note there's a few different kinds of the chafing gel. You, do, you want the gel, you do not want the cream. You want the powder gel. So, we're going to try it. I'm going to do Monistat on this side of my face and Photo Finish on this side of my face. I will title each side of my face so that we can remember going in which side is which. But I already have a clean, moisturized, serumed face, so let's get started. First, I'm going to use this Monistat gel. It's a lot less like silky feeling than the photo finish but it feels the exact same going on it's a little it's a little bit more slick feeling for us Pittsburghers it's a little more slippy than the photo finish I don't know if that's going to end up being a good thing or a bad thing in the end it feels I don't know, it feels like way more liquidy than the photo finish does. And the only reason why I can talk about it now while I'm putting it on is because I've used the photo finish before. So now let's apply the photo finish. I have cleaned my hands off. This is a wet paper towel. I have cleaned my hands off. Now going in with a photo finish on this side of my face. The photo finish holds together a little bit better than the chafing gel, although again the chafing gel could have just been sitting there on the shelf longer. Or in the heat, I did have it in my car. The photo finish doesn't go as far as the chafing gel does. It still gives that same like slippy smooth feeling, but it's, I don't know. It fills in the pores really nicely, like they both do. Yeah, after the chafing gel has set on my face, like for a second, they, it feels the exact same. Like my pores look really, really filled in. You can't tell a difference in terms of texture whenever I'm looking really, really close up. So we'll see how it performs. Today I'm going to be using it with the Revlon Color Stay in 150 Buff. I'm using just a drugstore brand because I feel like that's a lot more widely accessible to a lot more people. Um, however, I'd probably use like a Makeup Forever or Tarte uh, if I'm going out because this 150 Buff is a little light for me, but that's okay. And I'm just using a wet beauty blender. I mean, right now, they're both holding up pretty much the same, like the application of the 
the application of the foundation is the same. I will say that whenever I'm looking for primers, it's right in my nose and like underneath my eyes on my cheeks because I have a lot of pores, like huge pores. I should probably go and get a facial. Hint, hint, wink, wink, Justin, or any family member for Christmas. So whenever I'm using especially like a photo finish primer that's really like silicone-y feeling and silky feeling that's supposed to like really fill in your pores, when I'm testing new ones out, that's really where I'm looking to see if I'm getting that desired effect, like a photo finish effect. And TBH, to be honest, I'm actually getting a nicer finish on the monostat side to be... To be completely fair, I don't know. I mean, it has the same amount of product on it, like I'm fully covered, but for some reason, I don't know if it's just today or if it's just this test, on the monostat side, I'm seeing that my pores are a lot more covered, they're a lot more filled in, it looks a little bit more even than on the photo finish side. I'm going to quickly finish the face to see how it holds up under brushing and adding more products on top of it because sometimes whenever you're continually moving the foundation or adding products on top of the foundation, it sometimes has a tendency to move and it can, you know, react differently with your skin. So I'm going to finish my face really quickly off camera and then I will come back and let you know how it performed under intense pressure. Be right back. Okay guys, so I put a full face of makeup on. I didn't do my eyes because obviously this is just like a foundation primer test. So I did powder, contour, highlight, blush. I did my lips because I wanted to try this color out and it's looking a little, I don't know, clownish. Um, anyway, so what I have to say is the monostat side this side held up so well. It actually looks the same, if not better, than the Smashbox photo finish side. And can I just say $6.15 or $6, heck, let's even say $7 for 1.5 ounces. How much is the... $7 for 1.5 ounces of the Monistat Chafing Gel, powder gel, and then it's $36 for one ounce of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Like a full size is one ounce for $36 versus 1.5 ounces for $7 at the most. Um, and it gave the exact same result, if not better results, on the Monistat side. Uh, yeah, I will be recommending the Monistat Chafe, Chafe, Monistat Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel to everybody who's in love with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer uh, as an exact dupe. I know that there's also the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser that is another drugstore dupe for the photo finish. Um, and these, the Monistat and the Baby Skin are about the same price. I think the Baby Skin might be a couple dollars more. I don't know. I've liked this too. But as far as pore filling and smoothing and keeping your foundation looking, you know, real nice, I'm not disappointed in this. So yeah, dupe proven. Go out, get your Monistat Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel. Don't get the cream, the powder gel. Make sure you get the right one. It comes, it comes in a box like this. This is what the tube looks like. I'm sure that Equate makes something like this. I'm sure that there are other, you know, generic versions of this, but I love this. This is great. I just really liked everything about it. Again, I think it honestly, I mean, you can't tell on camera a lot, but in person, I think the chafing gel side looks so much nicer than the photo finish side, if I'm being honest, TBH. Anyways, 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, then please leave a comment in the comment section below telling me what you thought. Have you tried the Monostat Primer? Let me know. Let's start a conversation. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials and more dupes. Thanks so much for watching, guys.